what's going to happen. It it's goes. Johnny of Jim. Hello everybody and welcome back to Journey of Jim. Playing once again Subnautica Below Zero, episode 19, would you believe? Rocketing through this game. I had to do a little bit of homework. Uh, after the last episode, I find myself uh, wandering quite a lot. Uh, not a great deal of direction, got a little bit lost. So I ended the episode at the Fire Robotics Center and I did a little bit of background while I was offline, and I think I have a better idea of where it is that we need to go now. So uh, at the end of the last episode, I, I did kind of shelter in the robotics lab here. But what I um, also did just before I finished up, or just after I finished up, is I built myself just a little shelter base down here. Um, it's, I can't really see in the blizzard. But uh, here it is. Just wanted to give myself the opportunity to, to make something. But uh, what I have now is this, the spy pingling. So there is this little, this entryway here that I now understand is where you, um, you actually remotely control the, the pingling through that. What I want to find is one of those steam vents. There we go. Because if I stand next to this, I don't freeze to death. So I'll deploy my Robo Penguin. And then using my control, we... Ready for your assignment. It's very, very cute. It's very odd controls, but we're figuring it out. We're all good. So this is the little, the little hole. Distance 27, 29 meters. I have no idea how far it's supposed to be able to go. Oh, up we go. Okay, the 42 just went yellow. Turning, turning, slowly turning. Okay. I'm standing next to a vent. Uh, oh, okay. Well, there's a bunch of quartz. But there isn't really anything else in here. Okay. I'm guessing perhaps this was just showing you that, that this is an option. And there we are, look. Hello. Hi, Robin. You still alive? Got a good look at you. Wow. There we go. So, okay. So now we know how to pilot a spy penguin. What I now want to do is there is a spot on the map which I believe there is another one of those um, access points and I want to go and check it out. See what's in there. Well, by all accounts it is this way. Turbo boost. In this section, there is a stalker, but we're going to cunningly just go right past it. Up here, we turn right. Now, from here, it should be fairly straightforward. There's a hole that goes down there. Now here we go. This this is the kind of the path that I need to follow, and from what I know, should take us to a new area. Yep, here we go. Should be a little lake down there. There it is.
Moving with purpose. There's another little ladder down there and some parts for the snow fox, which we already have, so we're all good. And what goes on down there? There's a couple of stalkers. Here are the penglings. All right, here we go. I think there's a... Is that a steam thingy? Deploy! And in we go. That looks a little treacherous. I'm trying not to fall down. That would be very bad. And what is that? What are you? Sam must have stashed this antidote. She was going to use this antibacterial agent to neutralize the bacterium. Yes, yeah, she was. She's smart. Okay, so now we have the antidote. Uh, I will confess that uh, I did look that up online because I was uh, really struggling. Uh, to find what it was that we did next and uh, yeah it turns out you have to go to that tiny little cave and find the antidote um, not entirely sure how anybody would figure that out on their own without guidance it would take a long time so I really hope in the finished game that there is some kind of Indicator, something that tells you that, hey, maybe you should go over here and check out this random cave in the corner of the map with no real signage. And in case you hadn't figured out, you need to use your spy penguin to remotely control it and uh, and go into the cave and look for it. So, oh, that's, that's a something. That's a, that's a spy penguin thing. Uh, I don't have a... I'm going to have to be very quick because I don't have a, uh, a vent to stand next to. Tell me it's more than just quartz. I don't need quartz. That's literally it. Just quartz and magnetite. Come on. Quickly, 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 quickly. I don't need more quartz. Companionship level. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Yeah. So you do have to be careful because your body temperature does drop while you're in control of the penguin like that. So something to be uh, aware of. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Fire Robotics now that I have the antidote. Uh, because now what I would like to do, uh, super speed, uh, is to... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what is happening? Okay, I think I got away with it. Just about. Style and control at all times. Um, so now I need to head back to the frozen Leviathan and actually introduce the antidote that Sam made, found, created, hid. And uh, I think where I found those postules on the side of the Leviathan's neck and head, uh, there is a, a machine there that I think if I introduce that antidote, then it's going to inject the antidote into the actual corral bacteria. So. Let's go and do that. Now, that might be easier said than done because the frozen Leviathan can be a little bit tricky to find. So I really hope that I can remember the way. Oh, my inventory is full. 
drink some more of that. Um, eat a pepper. Bring the snow fox with me at all times. It's something I didn't realize I could do before and ended up going off on large stretches on foot, which is highly unintelligent when you've got, you know, giant ice worms and things like that. So I believe it is, oh, that's probably not the best way to go, but it is down here. Down this way, follow this to the bottom and there should be water. Uh, I keep crashing. Don't forget your seasickness pills, folks. This is a wobbly ride. And there is the water. Okay. Oh, I need to fix that like, very badly. I wonder if there's all of that smoke coming off of it. Okay. And... Oh. Now we follow this tunnel for a while. And really, it's only because I've spent a lot of time between recording sessions just wandering this area and getting lost and trying to figure out all of the, the different directions and the different routes that I'm able to do this because this whole section is just so disorienting, so big and there's not a lot of kind of landmarks or distinctive ways to remember which way you need to go. It's, it's a maze. And uh, you have to spend a lot of time lost in this big open area before you figure out where it is that you actually need to go. So, like I say, a lot has gone into figuring that out between sessions so that I can look like I know where I'm going <laughs> uh, during the episode. Okay, so we're back at the... Fruit trees with demonic eyes. I need to be on the other side of this area. There should be a, there it is, a tower. I am just to the side of that. Here we go. Now Parvin's office should be coming up on the right here, which I believe is there, yep. And through here is the frozen leviathan. Ah, time to get off, I think. Nope, don't board. Pack it up. Pack it in. Let me begin. feast upon because um, my hunger levels were getting a little bit ropey so we want to be going back up there I really hope this works I've done a lot of running around trying to figure this out and I really hope this is what is supposed to be done okay so here is the device that I was talking about so my thinking is that I need to insert the antidote. Here it goes. I wonder if that's enzyme 42. Okay. So I'm guessing Sam didn't have the opportunity to do this herself. She's gone to a lot of trouble. She's tried raising issue with her colleagues. They've pushed back and said, you know, don't stick your nose in, don't make trouble. Altera is watching. Nobody's joined Sam in her mission to figure out whatever it is that's going on with the Kara virus. So she has 
in her own time, somehow crafted an antidote, still not entirely sure how that's happened, and has hidden it using her spy penguins in a cave in the middle of nowhere, but never actually did this. So let's begin the injection. I have no idea what's going to happen. And it goes. It's funny if it just cured that one postural and nothing else. Oh, wow. The bacterial agent was effective. Without it, the bacteria could have spread. Now it cannot. Your sister's memory will live in you through this gesture. It feels good. Doing this one last thing for Sam. I feel like I got some closure. My people do not experience endings as you do. Do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something? Sometimes. Closure is a sense of resolution. Like, knowing that even though it still hurts, it'll be okay. I did what I came to do. I found out what really happened to her. And yep. I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I'd told her that more. No See, regards. I wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Yeah. That really is a shame. I mean, she's arrived on this planet looking for her sister. I mean, I didn't know if we would eventually find her alive. It's looking very unlikely that that's the case now. She's very clearly uh, perished uh, as her body was found in the cave collapse along with Parvin's. But her mission was to right the wrong and to cure this Kara bacterium, to stop it from spreading. She recognized how dangerous it was. She recognized that Altera's motives weren't aligned with hers. They potentially wanted to use it, weaponize it, change it. And she thought, no, this thing is too dangerous. This thing has clearly already wiped out almost an entire planet of life. A very highly advanced civilization came very close to extinction because of it. And she was like, no, I'm shutting it down. But unfortunately, she never made it because she had the accident in the cave which, in which she lost her life. But now here is Robin who comes up and uncovers the mystery of what actually happened to her and was able to cure the, cure the virus and to, to finish what, what Sam started. And... Uh, you know, as Alan says, it must have been very cathartic for her to be able to do that. Although apparently now I've stopped being able to move. It would just fall. I'm very glad that it didn't wake the Leviathan. There was a little part of me who was thinking, is this thing going to start moving if we do this? Okay, well, I mean, I guess with very little fanfare, we've kind of finished... Sam and Robin's thread of the storyline. There doesn't appear to be much left to do on that front. So the only thing that's really left to do is to recover Alan's body. Yeah. Seems crazy to think that that's all that there is left. And so, with that, I think, I think I will end this episode here. Purely because all that there really is left to do is to travel back to Fire Robotics and then back to home base and prepare for recreating Alan's body. And, you know, I won't make you guys sit through that. I might have a little look around this area, actually, because I haven't properly explored it. Um, just to have a little a little nosy. But I'm... Uh, I'm, I'm it's a mixed bag, mixed feelings, because um, it's bittersweet. I'm, I'm very happy that uh, we found out what happened to, to Sam and her storyline, but at the same time, there's kind of a... I didn't want it to end kind of thing. It's... Uh, it's been a fun journey. There's a cave. I'll just go and have a little look and see what's in here. Because why not?
Not a lot. Ah, a couple of uh, some fiber mesh. Oh, more fiber mesh. And a first aid kit. Fever to pepper. Okay, I am actually going to end the episode there, otherwise I'm just going to faff for an hour and, uh, and not really have any direction. This will end up being a shorter episode, but it does mean that by the next episode, I will have everything ready, rock and rolling, and we'll go and make Alan a body. And I think that will end up being the last episode of this series, because I don't think there's really much left to do. I've built all of the toys, the base is all built out. I mean, I've got some posters that I could put up, but for the most part, you know, everything has been, you know, put together. We've sold Sam and Robin's storyline. We just need to finish things off by building a body for Alan. And then that's probably it. Bittersweet it will be as we say goodbye to Subnautica Below Zero. So I do hope you join me for that last episode. And uh, thank you so much for joining me on this one. This has been Journey of Jim, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. It's the journey of Jim.